What's up guys, Sloppy Whippaloo here. I wanted to do a quick little guide on showing you guys how to overclock your present GPU, especially for NVIDIA's cards, and this works for AMD as well. And also, how do we keep the card running cool? I always see, Sloppy, that your cards run really, really cool. Mine's running in the 80 to almost 90 thresholds. How are you able to achieve that? So I've done this in the past, but I figured I'd do a more present one in... Um, in happiness of the GTX 1080 Ti, which is really, really great card. So let's get into this, okay? First thing you're going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description. So look in the video description to get MSI Afterburn. I will put the most current model for you guys to download. When you download the program and get it going, you're going to get in here, and we are going to start with power limit. This is the default. So when you get the program running, this is exactly what it's going to look like, okay? So power limit is 100%. That means it's giving it what it needs from the factory. What it sees is that 100% load. So first thing you're going to do is put this 120%. Okay, what that does is it gives the card another 20% boost in the power. So if it's like 350, it'll give it a little more juice in order for you to... Um, achieve the overclocks and keep it stable and stuff. I don't really mess with the core voltage. You know, if you want to go psychotic, you can. I never mess with it. And you see, I get pretty good overclocks and you'll have no issues with this. You're not going to hurt your cards and stuff like that. Okay, now, core clock, it depends on the card you have. Obviously, what card you're buying and stuff like that. So I would do this in safe increments. But as a rule of thumb, let's just say with the GTX 1080 and with the GTX 1080 Ti, I'm still kind of clocking it the same kind of way. So what I'm doing is on top of the boost clock, okay, that um, the GTX 1080 Ti has, I'm giving it another 140 megahertz on top of that. So on top of the boost clock, I'm looking for another 140 above that, okay? And with the memory clock, I'm going up about 350. Now, guys, there's some cards are all different. Some I'm, some people put this at five, six, seven, eight hundred more. And you know what? It could work absolutely fine. I don't go psychotically crazy with overclocking. I, I believe in a nice overclock and something that's, you know, attainable. And you can go crazier and you could sample it and see if you start getting freezing. And you push it as hard as you want. I don't go crazy. For me, another 350 is fine. You can do 500, no problem if you really want. But that's what I do with my GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition, okay? So this is what I'm doing to start. This is my overclock. Now... This is very, very important. What I want to do, too, is that's the overclocking section. I'm going to get into this in a second. We're going to come back to fans. But you're going to go to settings. And if you see, you're going to go to fan. Okay. And enable user-defined software automatic fan control. Okay. And then you're going to check that. And you're also going to check force fan speed update on each period. You're going to hit OK. Okay. So then we're going to go back in here and show you what we're doing here. Okay. Now... If you leave, if you don't do any of this, if you guys notice, when you guys, if you had any kind of on-screen display and you start running your cards, you start pushing your cards hardcore, what happens is the automated fan control settings, it just doesn't power the fan up enough, so your card's going to get freaking hot. So let me just show you how this works. This is your temperature, so as you see, temperature Celsius, 0 to 100. This is your fan speed, 0 to 100, okay? So what I do is I have a little fun with it. I'm still tinkering with it, but if you see right here, if you click that box, okay, right now I just have it at like 26 fan speed, 25 temperature just a fun thing because that's your car is kind of idling then i have it as 35 fan speed for 40 celsius these are steps okay so you're going to put one two three four five six seven eight steps is the most they're going to allow you so what this means is every time the card hits these temperatures the fan is going to kick to a certain level to try to keep the card cooler okay that's all that really is okay so as you see here 45 celsius is a 45 percent fan speed okay when we start climbing this is, um, let's just say, I'll show you how you move it. 50 Celsius, I'm going to put it 55 fan speed. Click the next box. This is 55 temperature. is going to give me a 60 fan speed. And like I just moved it a little bit, but like here at 60, I'm going to put this at, let's put it at 70 or whatever. I can put it at like 67%. And this one is 75 so when it gets to 64 celsius it's going to go up to a 75 percent fan speed this is my pinnacle so if the card hits 67 celsius the card is going to be running at 83 percent fan speed okay when you're done with that you could set it up so how you're going to do it is just click 
and they're going to put new boxes in, click, 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 and then drag them around. This is what I'm using right now. I, I screw around with it, but it stays kind of close to this. I may uh, increase this a little bit, or I might drop that a little bit, but this is kind of exactly what I always do. I tinker with it, and then by tinkering, I drop it a few, made the temperature go up a little bit more, and I'll put the fan a little bit more, but that's how you do it. And put it at fan, your fan speed heading at 1,000 so in milliseconds. That's how much it'll keep refreshing to keep an eye on it and it's going to force it so make sure these are checked hit okay now this is important do you see this green box watch if i click this okay hold on all right right now with no green box around this that means the fan is on auto that means the computer is running your fan speeds and you don't want that you want to click this once you click it you see how the green box comes on there that means now we are controlling it from the settings we just did in the fan settings all right so this is what i do this like i said i'm i'm keeping this right now and i've been pretty much using this since i started and this is actually an overlay that just keeps coming with me from the 980 ti to the gtx 1080s to all my cards i kind of have this and then i i screw it a little bit you know it depends what cards i have like the the founders edition run a little hotter so i like to pump it up a little bit more but right now the cards are staying at like 69 67 celsius of course listen the drawback is you are going to have a louder fan sound but that's part of the game you know i mean the founders edition i'm going to breathe heavier but i'd rather have a cool running card and keep a higher boost clock than a you know than hearing some sound because guess what i game with headphones when i do these videos with you guys anyway so i'm always gaming with headphones i don't even use my system anymore my sound system which i have a good one but i don't use it anymore but anyway guys that's how you're going to do it like i said any questions you let me know but that's how i keep this is how i overclock my cards and this is how i keep my cards cool but like i said depends what cards you have you don't want to screw with this too much but i would start anywhere from 125 on core clock and keep going up all right it depends on the card like i said i have a gtx 1080 ti found this edition you can go up more in this but i don't you know i'm happy at 140 above the boost clock and 350 i'm happy with that you can go to five probably without a blink of an eyelid and you'll be up to like 12 gigahertz or whatever on the memory speed so you know what take that for a grain of salt but this is how i overclock and keep the cards running cool